All right, everybody is healed. Everyone's looking good. Party regroup. Time to finish what we started. Welcome back to a very special Let's Play. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are going to continue our Let's Play of Mega Traveler 1 here. This is a DOS RPG game based off the Traveler RPG system. It's got a lot of cool, interesting mechanics, and although some of them could be improved, I think it's nonetheless been an interesting journey. We've had some ups and downs. We've lost a crew member. He kind of got killed uh, randomly on a desert planet. We recruited somebody else. We've been we've discovered a racing ring, all sorts of stuff, a pirate ship. Uh, now we're going to be traveling to the moon of Ukaki, or the solar system of Ukaki, I guess. Um, today we're basically going to try one or two little side quests that I've jotted down here, and then we're going to actually head to Bujen to start and possibly finish the actual quest of the main game here. So without further ado, let's jump. To Ukak, or Uki, or however you say that, Uaki, 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 something like that. Anyway, we made it into the solar system, and now comes the harrowing journey of trying to pilot our way down to the planet. Apparently, by the way, you can engage in space piracy and stuff, but honestly, it's like I can barely figure out what I'm doing with flying the, the aircraft or the... the uh, spaceship anyway it doesn't seem to be necessary to actually engage in space piracy so uh, it's kind of low on my priority list maybe near the very end of the game we'll check it out just to see but i'm afraid we're all going to die in combat if i actually try and uh, engage in space piracy so we're just going to travel down here to the planet and see what we see all right so we have landed on the planet of sino all these planets are starting to look alike actually before we do anything uh, oh, we cannot buy fuel here. I was going to say we should buy some fuel, but I guess we can't. Okay, apparently there is an eastern maze on this planet, so I'm just kind of curious. I think it might be another one of those mazes that we saw, like, in the, uh, basically the first video. Was it the first video where we encountered a maze? Maybe it was the second video. It's all kind of, like, blurring together now. But you guys remember there was, like, poisonous gas clouds, and we kind of, like, worked our way through them? I think that's what we're going to find on this planet here. Or there could be nothing. There could actually be nothing. I can't find a way past the mountains. So, do I have my west and east mixed up? Uh, Alright, I was mistaken. There's nothing on Sino. I don't know. There, there could be a maze. Uh, this is actually not even the planet that we came into this system for, so I'm not that broken up about it. We are here for Uke, or Uki. So the thing that makes the space travel so hard here is I'm not pressing any buttons, and, like, my ship is moving. And when I change direction, it's kind of like asteroids, where your ship kind of has momentum, um, and you just kind of go forward. But it's not pixel precise, and that's what kind of makes... Uh, we are going to skip that one too. That's what kind of makes it hard to control. Like, see, I move, it, it's sort of chunky and blocky in how you move. So imagine trying to fly in asteroids, but rather than the screen updating every fraction of a second the way asteroids does in sort of pixel perfect per uh, uh, perfection, but imagine it updated every like half a second. It'd be very clumsy to actually sort of fly around. Okay. Wacky. I don't even know how to say that, man. That's like an alien dialect in and of itself. U-A-K-Y-E. Confusing. Oh my god, it's a, it is a, an Arctic planet, though. That is awesome. All right, we can buy fuel. We are going to load up, use our party account, and fill up, baby. All the way to the max. We're going to leave our illegal weapons. Fine. Uh, we will rent... Give me the grav thing. They're all out of those. Okay, then I want nothing. You know what actually we have not rented is an uh, ATV thing, but I feel like it's kind of useless because, I mean, we can walk around on foot. So what's the point in uh, buying, buying a land vehicle? Like, we can buy the grav vehicle to fly around or the boat on water planets, but what is the point of, uh, of buying an ATV? I don't know. I guess it's protection. All right, so here's what we have to do for this planet, or for this little mission. We have to find a lady in a bar, and she will give us something to give to a dude in a hotel. Played any good games lately? 
If you're interested in making some credits, I have a job for you. Take this package to the clerk at the seafarer's home, and he will give you further instructions. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you about his package. It's top secret. The clerk may give you obscure instructions, but that can't be helped. Uh, Brains is handed the package. I like how she's like, hello, random person. Let me trust you with something that is top secret. There's no way this could backfire. Like, she should be fired from her job as a spy instantly. She just literally trusted a rando that walked in the bar. Ah, it's amusing. All right, the seafarer's home was, like, right over here. By the way, notice the purple guy and the orange guy. Their white bars are going down. That's their oxygen. I think this planet that we're on uh, uses oxygen. It's not oxygen rich, so my guys are getting, like, winded and suffocating. So we can't hang around on this planet for too long. Hopefully this little side mission won't take long, though. A package would be nice. Oh, yeah, here's something that's kind of interesting about the game. Um, you actually have to equip things that you're given. So this package, you move it here, and then when you talk to him, uh, then you give him the package. That's that's one thing we encountered in the last video, and I said, I kind of wish that they would just detect that the item was in your inventory. Why does he have to equip it? I don't know. By the way, the look at this guy's face. That's kind of badass. He's got like a Bane breathing apparatus, and he's got like VR goggles. It's kind of cool. I've been waiting for this package. Here, take this other package. Someone in the city of Sake is waiting for it. He will instruct you further. Where the hell is that? I wonder. The city of Sake. Is that another planet? Okay, I'm looking at my notes, and I can't figure out if there is another city or another planet. You know what we actually are? I just mocked renting uh, an ATV. But we are going to rent it so that hopefully we don't suffocate. We can just drive around. Okay, we got to find another city on this ice planet. So we're just going to follow this path and hopefully this takes us to where we need to go. There's like a rock monster out there just chilling. We'll call him Yeti Man. Hey look, this actually does look like a city. I think we might have made it. Oh look! Oh my god, this is so cool. Is this an internal city? Are we going? Oh! This interior city of Saki. Oh, that's so neat! So neat. The sad thing is that this quest that we're doing is totally optional, has no bearing on the actual story, but like, we came to an ice planet, we had to rent an ATV, we came to an interior city. Isn't that kind of cool? I feel like that is kind of cool. Um, what did the guy give us, by the way? There's so many items, I don't even know what the guy gave us. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's find the guy first and worry about what he might want later. Howdy, gentlefolk. Brains hands over the package. What? The package? <laughs> so the first package I had to take out of my inventory and put into my, like, weapon slot to give to the guy. The second package is just auto-detected. This game is whack, yo. Anyway, thank you. I've been waiting for this package. Take this other package to the warehouse. Someone will be waiting with further instructions. I can't wait to see what those instructions are. If they're about delivering another package, I am all about that life, man. Now, we gotta find a warehouse. There is no indication about whether it is in this city or not, so we're just going to have to try. It is cool that we're in, like, an interior city, and it's just, like, all concrete and, like, artificial stuff. There's, like, no plants, nothing. Makes sense. Oh, this this looks like this could be a warehouse right here. This kind of looks like a warehouse. Welcome to the warehouse! I, you know what? <laughs> I do appreciate that all the places we have to go are, like, side by side. Um, it would be less fun to do this if they were like spread out all over the the universe i mean you could have done it that way but it's like a nice simple little planetary quest i like that they kept it relatively constrained i'm not sad that the environments are not huge is what i'm saying uh, where now where's the guy who wants this thing we already encountered one person who didn't want it is it you do you want this thing played any good games lately excellent i've been waiting for this package take this other package to the city of linar a man will be waiting with further instructions. Linar, eh? Where the hell is that? It would help to have an ex like a like an overhead map that like showed us where we're going or something. Um, welcome to the interior city of Linar. What the heck? There's a city on a city? Okay. Um, now they said just a guy in Linar. So Oh my god, we found the guy. <laughs> The first guy we even talked to. They set that up. It's about time. I never thought I would get this package. Take this other package to another person 
in Linear. This is the last time you'll have to deliver a package. I promise. Once you deliver the final package, you will be paid. I have a feeling they're going to kill us. But all right. I like also how his instructions are give it to another person in the city. So is it you? No. Is it you? Uh, is it you? Long live the Imperium. Good for you, buddy. I'm looking for a guy who's looking for a package. Does anybody know him? Could be him. Nope. Played any good games lately? Thank goodness, I've been anxiously waiting to receive this package. I hope you weren't followed. If certain people saw you with those packages, you could be in danger. Here's your payment. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Here's your payment. Now scram. Also, I like how they wait until the end of this little package delivery to tell me how dangerous it was. I was totally delivering drugs, wasn't I? It's like, they're like, here's a package. It smells funny. Don't look in it. Just deliver it. I was totally, I was being a drug mule. I was just running drugs all over town. That's okay. You guys can tell me. I'm cool with it. Um, all right. Wait, what did that say? Please don't disturb us. We have patience to take care of. I'm a patient. Well, they, they wanted nothing to do with me. This interior city down here kind of sucks. It's just a bunch of boarded up buildings and a hospital that won't treat me. So forget it. Interior city of sake. Well, we just did a side mission. Uh, you know what? It was simple. It was very basic. I think it's sort of the side mission exemplifies this game in a nutshell, which is kind of has cool potential and was interesting, but you could have seen how they could have made that more elaborate and cooler. You know, like the, the bones were there for this to be really neat. Oh, we, we never went in this building. Uh, the bones were there for this to be very neat, but it kind of felt a little basic. And I think that's sort of my, my feeling of this game as a whole. It's like, it's got really cool bones. Uh, but in terms of uh, actually execution, it's just sort of like, it could have been more. It could have been more, which is a little too bad because they went to all this work of making good bones. But, you know. All right, what does this guy want? I'd be interested in purchase any ruby necklaces you require. Guess what, bud? Well, first of all, there is an amethyst sitting on the ground that I'm going to take. That's that's without question. Second of all, I accidentally quit the game. Oh, uh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and load our most recent game then. Gang 4. Where? What planet were we even on? Uh, we were in the Ukaki system, which is kind of where I wanted to be. But, all right, you know what? We saw the ice planet. We saw that little uh, fetch mission. Let's uh, head on to our next destination. So we are looking for the planet of Quam. Okay, there it is. It is in the Luzi system. So it's kind of interesting. You actually have to look at like star maps. So like Minorb will have Minor, but it might have like other planets. So if you're looking for something specific, you actually have to sort of look through these. So where was it? Luzi? Luzi had Quam. So let's see where that is relative to us. So Luzi is there. All right, Luzi, let's do it. We have just gone to warp, sir. All systems. Read nominal. Jump successful. All right, take us in. Find Quam. We have a village lord to execute and a holy item to get. I wonder what happens, by the way, if you run out of fuel. If it's just like game over, you done goofed. Because I'm using fuel to fly around here. Oh, there was a planet. See if that was the bad boy that we're looking for. That is Quam. Go ahead and land. All right, welcome to Quam. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and save since we just realized how easy it was to quit the game. I can't believe I accidentally did that. I pressed escape to exit a conversation, and I was going to get that guy his, uh, oh, buy and sell cargo. Who will pay for the cargo? Ah, so here's the other part of the game. You can actually make money by buying and selling, uh, like, equipment to different planets. I actually think this is super cool. You can sort of be like a cargo dude. Uh, so you can, like, play the market, buy low, sell high, buy water cheap, and sell it on planets that need water. It's a very cool idea for the game. We haven't really explored it much, and honestly, we're not going to because it would just take a, a lot of time. But uh, it is it is a pretty neat uh, idea for the game. So we just had all of our weapons confiscated. So I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this lord. Like, uh, what are those two guys doing over here? Hello. Uh, I would be more than happy to trade your worth, 
worth like a trying to for a little dust spice. I don't have an electronic fishing net. Do we have any weapons? Oh, we do have some. We have like one weapon. <laughs> this guy's weapon somehow made it through security. All right. Well, if we do find the evil lord, we can kill him. Long live the Imperium. Uh, we got some tents over here. Oh, look at this. Tents to explore. Anything cool in here? Anything? There's a, a dude hanging around. He says, A treasured religious relic has been stolen without the religious idol. I wield no power over my own people. Believing our God has forsaken me, their faith has diminished. We are peace-loving people, unskilled in methods necessary to direct a successful raid against the evil desert warlord who stole the idol. If you can defeat the warlord and return the idol to my people, I will be forever in your service. The thing is, a guy at the spaceport took all my guns. If you could talk to him to get my guns back, maybe this whole idol thing could go a lot smoother. Because right now I got one guy. I got one guy with a gun. <laughs> That's my whole plan is one guy with a gun. So I will try, man. But I don't know how successful it's going to be. Oh, God. That thing's attacking us. Okay, I just looked down at my notes for one minute to try and figure out what we could do. Well, let's go see this guy at least. But I have a feeling we're not going to be able to retrieve this religious artifact. Because, like, no weapons. No weapons. I think there's a way to sneak weapons past the guard. But I don't quite know it. One guy did it by accident. So it is possible. But, uh It is actually really hard to walk around. So cracks, apparently you can't walk over. And if we just keep going east, I wonder if we're going to find this guy or not. Oh, there's a tent. That's promising. Maybe this scumbag's taking a nap. We can just choke him out. There is a tent. Nobody seems to be around it, though. Where's the entrance on these things? How do you get in a tent? <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery. It's just a, a tent that's impossible to enter. I'm on the outside, like, scratching the canvas like a bear. Like, how do I get in? The guy's on the inside just, like, clenching that religious artifact he stole. Cannot seem to find anyone. Is this a guy? Can we talk to him? Long live the Imperium! You go, citizen. You go. Alright. Well, somewhere on this planet, somebody stole a religious artifact, and if you're able to smuggle a gun, I suppose you can help out. I can't even find the guy. Is that him? Is this the guy? He looks like a dog. I have nothing to say. But he will bite at me aggressively. Forget you, dog. All right, well, it is, in theory, possible to help these people out. But for the most part, I'm, I'm going to leave them to their own devices. I don't know. Sorry that your planet lost faith in you, man. But maybe you shouldn't have a religion completely based on the possession of a single idol. Because let me tell you, that is, a, that is one surefire way. Do you want to claim your weapons? Yes. To, uh, to have it be very easy to lose control of your followers. If, if your religion is contingent on you claiming a single religious artifact, that is some trouble. All right, while we're in Luzi, we got to find a place to fuel up. And that would be up this way, I think. There we go. Planet. We just flew right by it. <laughs> we're, like, flying through the sun. Where is this planet? Ugh. Islandar. Mm -hmm. Can we buy fuel here? We cannot. I want nothing to do with your planet. I like how there's all sorts of ships flying to and from all these planets. Like it gives the illusion of all this interstellar commerce and stuff. And there's asteroids. I don't know what the other ships are doing. I guess they're ferrying supplies back and forth. Like we could have if we had chosen that life. But unfortunately the mercenary life chose us. So instead we have to run around on missions delivering drug packages. All right, this is what we want. Luzi. All right, first things first. Can we get some fuel? Yes, we can. Buy supplies from the party account. Uh, wait, no, we want to refuel from the party account. Also, I like how it's like the party account, like the adventuring party. But I like to think of the party account like, you know, Friday night party account. Like our party account is always willing to pay the bill for a good time, man. Uh, we have all the fuel we need. Perfect. Okay, yes, take our goddamn illegal weapons. Just want to check out this, since we land, since we went to all this trouble of landing on the planet, I'd like to at least see a little bit of it. 
Um, look at this. It has like another interior. I like these planets that have like interior cities. Pretty cool. Anything going on in here? We can rent stuff. Um, I think these cities are all like samey samey by now. Like we've seen pretty much most of the game. Occasionally you get these like little fetch missions and stuff. And like you encounter a tent where a guy wants you to reclaim a religious artifact. Or we saw a pirate ship. Or there was the interior cities on the ice planet and so on. So I, I feel like we're pretty much at a point where there's not too much new stuff to see. Yeah, all these cities are, oh, look at that. This part of the, the city is all broken up. It's kind of interesting. Oh, and there are people over there. It's even more fascinating, actually. Kind of want to wonder what's going on over there. Um, oh, how do you get there? What is this? Well, it's the best bar in town. That is a bar to name a bar after. This guy has no missions for us. I think I, one thing I wish is that it was a little easier to figure out if there were missions or like if an NPC had something to say to you or if there was something unique you could do on a planet um, as opposed to, you know, just uh, sort of being left to guess. Um, oh, look, we can kind of like go over here and we can see like the rundown side of town. This is the side they don't take tourists on. Let's talk to this guy. Nice day, isn't it? Some people call the Zodani masters of the mind. I despise them. I don't want my most personal thoughts and feelings invaded by their deceitful mind control. The only thing that will protect me from their mental manipulation is a psionic shield helmet. I would really like to get one. Okay, let's bribe this guy. We will increase our offer. We're going to give him 6,000 credits. And we're going to offer him. No thanks, I really don't need the money. If someone walked up on the street to you and offered you 6000 I mean, you'd probably wonder what they were going to try and do to you. Like, they're going to steal a kidney or something. But if they were literally just giving you money, uh, you know, why not take it? All these people are not in need of money. Look where you live, man. You're in the dilapidated side of town. You should be taking my money. You should be begging me for money. Anyway, this has been Louise. Anything cool in here? The warehouse. Yet another warehouse. Are these items that we can take? Nothing nearby. All right, we've seen enough of Louise. Let's actually carry on with our mission here. All right, we're abandoning this hellhole of a town. There's not even any atmosphere here. You have to go inside your little bubble community before you can breathe. All right, let's uh, go ahead, take off, jump, and oh, we can finally get to the second cluster of planets. All right, off to Minorb. Finally, we're getting to the second cluster cluster of planets in this game. And once we are here, we're actually going to make our way to Bougine. Uh, because that is where our story mission awaits. And as promised today, guys, I think we are going to try to complete the story. Which just involves talking to a handful of people, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, it's kind of interesting in this game that there isn't that much combat. I believe there is a final battle, which was one of my complaints about Battletech the Crescent Hawk's Inception is the game, I think that game has a better combat system uh, throughout the game, but then when you get to the final act of the game, you're expecting like a big final battle to finally use all your skills, and there's kind of nothing. It's a bit of a disappointment, to be totally honest. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. All right, Minorb, we're going to go ahead and land. All we really need here is fuel. So we, I don't even think there's anything to do on this planet. I'll double check before we leave, but I'm pretty sure that there's really nothing. There's really nothing to see on Minorb. It's kind of a kind of a crap hole. Never has there more, been a more treacherous hive of scum and villainy than the planet Minorb. Another desert planet. I do like how there's different sort of map tile sets. It's pretty cool. There's like green planets and desert planets, and there's like really really rundown planets. Uh, let's see if this guy has neural weapons. Because neural weapons, I feel like, are... Oh my god, a dagger and a sword? Forget it. This planet sucks. I told you this planet was a hellhole. And I was just making that up, but it really is. Um, also, I feel like the buildings are somewhat themed. I think the colors or the style are sometimes consistent. So the, uh, uh, you know, this one I feel like is commonly a vehicle place. Let's go ahead and rent a grab vehicle. Okay, let's let's rent an ATV. Why not? Let's go ahead and just explore the barren 
barren countryside for a little bit. Might as well. I know Menorb's a hole, but whatever. Oh, we found like another little like side village or something. A farm of some kind. There's literally no door, no people, nothing. Just uh, window dressing on a barren, empty planet, I suppose. And that's it. All right, to hell with Menorb. Let's move on. I'm not even going to bother returning that rental vehicle. I'm going to leave it with an eye shot of the uh, rental place and just walk away. Because screw it. I don't even need the money, man. All right. Time to jump to the next planet. Okay, and that would be Bougin. This is the planet that was mentioned in the first episode that we played. The very first story mission. It's taken us this long to actually get to it. And we have kind of been just been messing around. But if you were more direct in your playthrough... Uh, basically you could get here the the main limiting thing the interesting thing about this game is it's not like you have to like unlock other story elements to like make it further in the game you need money and so when we started playing this game in the first episode I said that uh, you know we had unlocked uh, sort of a cheat to give us five million dollar head start but it takes two million dollars to be able to leave the first planet and if you do not have that cheat you actually do have to do a lot of these side missions and stuff just to get the money uh, yeah, we kind of circumvented that, so we, we've been able to see the galaxy with a lot more freedom. I think the game would have been better served if you could explore the galaxy like this, this freely, from the beginning. And also, I think what would have made this game better is if they had designed it so that you could have explored the galaxy this easily, then they could have taken a lot of those side missions and actually made them integral to the, the overall mission, so that it forced you to check out all these different environments and different planets and have these fun adventures. So, like, we've just been sort of having adventures in a happenstance way but it'd be really cool if it was sort of like you had to do it anyway we've gone ahead and bought our fuel first thing you do when you land on a planet is fuel up baby and the next thing is we gotta look for stuff all right so let's see what we got going on here welcome to the axeman star town bar let's see what we got let's try and find our contact this is where we were supposed to meet uh whoever greetings traveler I have nothing to say to you. I have no customers. There's not even any alcohol behind this bar. I don't know how to run a bar. My establishment is a disaster. Completely failing. Is there anyone here? All right. Greetings, traveler. Wait, was that the right bar that we were supposed to go to? Can a town have two bars? I've never seen that in any of the planets that we've actually traveled to. But clearly, that's not where we have to go. Here's the casino where you could gamble if you want to make a lot of money. For us, we would probably just lose it. Let's see if this guy has any good weapons since we're here. And he has fine weapons. I've yet to see anyone selling a neural rifle. I'm beginning to think they don't exist in this game, let alone a neural pistol. Actually, you know what we do want is ammo. Party account, ammo. Right, we got a ton of ammo. Oh God, do not quit. That escape button is its far too easy to quit. You know what? Let's go ahead and save our game since we made it this far. Oh, God. Did he just confiscate all our weapons again? No illegal weapons found. We're literally packing heat. Every single one of us is packing heat. The guy didn't find a single illegal weapon. Oh, that's good. Man, this is a big city. Welcome to the Supernova Lounge. All right, bar number two. Let's see what we got. Hi. I'm interested in purchasing any bronze sculptures you acquire during your travels. I'm not interested in you right now, bub. Not interested at all. What's this guy have to say? Greetings, traveler. I have nothing to say. I am of no consequence. My life is meaningless. Look, there's a guy in black down there in the bottom corner. I feel like he's our man. I will not speak to the likes of you. Oh, God. He's attacking us. Okay, you know what? Uh, break, and, oh god, let's attack this guy, attack, attack, I'm just gonna spam weapons, he's doing like zero points of damage to us, why is this guy attacking us, what did we do, what did we do to hurt you man, we just wanted to be friends, we just wanted to be friends, alright, we killed him, all right, now we go party regroup. What did he drop? Who will take the respirator? Like no one, I don't want that. Take nothing is nearby. All right, 
We killed a guy who I'm pretty sure was our contact, unless this one last guy behind the bar is. Unless there's a third bar in, in, on this planet. Let's see what this guy says. Uh, it is claimed that credits can loosen anyone's tongue. You have that many credits. All right. Guess what? 6,000... 16,000 credits offer. A man by the name of Arik was stopping by every few days for a few drinks. I remember him mentioning he was staying at a seafarer's home. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for several days. All right. Thank you. A bribe that actually worked. The first time we have ever used the bribing technique. You know, actually, though, we did once encounter a woman in a bar who said that money would loosen her tongue, but we did not pay her anything, and so we kind of got nothing out of it. So kind of our own fault on that one. Maybe we could have bribed someone else and we just missed out on an awesome bribing opportunity. All right, now we got to find the seafarer's home. No, more of those poison gas cloud thingies. Okay, what do we got going on up here? It is a, f a light farming community. Small farm. It's interesting how this game mixes sort of like sci-fi with like older school kind of stuff. Like we've been on a pirate ship and there have been farms and like tent cities and stuff. Kind of interesting. Um, another farm over here. Oh, look, there's a guy. Kiefer placed a bounty on your head. I'm going to collect it. Oh, yeah? Well, you're not even doing any damage to me. Party break. Options. Okay, fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. And fire on you. Oh, reload. Fire on you. All right, go ahead. Kill this punk. Rapid fire. It's not super impressive. I like how this guy so thought he could solo us and just take us down, get the bounty. You fool. You sweet, beautiful fool. He is kind of like getting away from us, though. Can we, like... Walk towards them. One thing I don't like is that once you break your party up, you can't scroll. All right, uh, party regroup. He dropped something that looked kind of interesting. So let's see what that is. Uh, item take. Who will take Gainus's ID? Done. Item take. Who will take the demolition charge? Me. Nothing nearby. All right, we got an ID card and a demolition charge. I feel like that is what we needed from this planet. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, no, I think there's more. There's definitely more we have to do here. Hey, there's like rubies over there. Getting rubies. It's my middle name, even though like we have yet to sell any precious jewels. I think we're just collecting them for ourselves. Ooh, sapphires. All right, now where the hell do we go? Oh, the Starfarer's home. This is where they said that guy was staying. Hello. A man named Victor asked me to pass on a message to you. He said that he has something you want as well as someone you seek. You will lose both if you don't meet him across the bridge located outside of the city. I'd be very careful if I were you. He had an angry, sadistic look in his eyes. I'm going to bribe you for that. Thank you. Uh, no thanks. I really don't need the money. You're so kind, man. You're so kind. All right, so a crazed man named Victor. He's out for our blood, guys. We gotta, we gotta do this. Let's go find this guy. It's, he's across the bridge out of town. So let's find this bridge. Uh, up here somewhere. Are you Victor? Hi. Uh, I'd be interested in purchasing any gold pendants you acquire during your travels. Well, you're not, I'm not really interested in that right now. I'll be totally honest with you, random, random Amazon woman. I don't need that. Stop biting me, lizard man. I have my quarrel's not with you. God damn it. Leave me alone. Bridge. I have not seen a bridge. Is this the guy? Greetings, traveler. Anyone seen a bridge? Like wandering into like a rocky pass. Oh, water. Okay, I was going to say, I have not seen water in a long time. Water suggests a bridge, possibly. This is actually a big planet. Oh, I see a guy over there. All right, I think we're on the right track. Oh, here's a bridge. Thing down here? No. All right. Let's cross this bridge and kill whoever we find on the other side. Oh, look at this. Uh, sorry, but you won't find Eric here. 
I've had him transferred to Niara. He will be eliminated when all arm shipments have been made. I still don't have Toyan's decoding key, but that will no longer be an issue after I've terminated you. I'm not Kiefer's number one man for nothing. I'm the best there is, and your pathetic group would be, of would-be heroes is no match for me. Well, I will admit that one of our heroes died accidentally on kind of a trivial mission, but we're not would-be. We are heroes, damn it, and we're going to show you a thing or two. So take take note, guys. We have to go to Niara. Time to break this party up and slaughter these guys. Break. Pause. Oh my god, the orange and purple guys are already quite damaged. Um, okay, fire on this guy. 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 Now, I think we actually should try and take cover. I don't know. There's nowhere to really take cover to, though. Okay, let's just see what happens here. I'm going to kind of try and keep an eye on my guy's health. And hopefully nobody dies. I mean, if people die, we'll just recruit new people. Who are we kidding? Come on, everybody. Pull your weight. This is a gunfight the likes of which we have never been in before. So far, nobody's taking, like, an unreasonable amount of damage. They're all kind of at, like, at least 75%. Keeping my eye on things. Oh, we killed somebody. Okay, everyone pause. Now, imagine having to assign orders like this and things you couldn't pause. Like, the gunfight is still going on. I feel like you would just die. So that's how this game was originally designed, and it wasn't until a patch came out that you could actually pause the game like this. I just don't understand how the game was supposed to be playable before the uh, change. Oh, I can't hit that guy. I've, like, missed every time. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, this guy. This guy definitely needs to heal himself. Boom, boom. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to switch to that. Item. Oh, item. Use. The secondary item. Boom, he healed himself. Now he'll switch. Pause, switch. Fire on that guy. There we go. Let's all switch to firing on the other guy who's out in the open. Once we kill that guy, I think we'll be good. All right, initiate the orders. And then I'll manually control red here. Uh, red. And walk over here. Nice and close. Oh god, blue is taking a hit. Maybe I should uh, heal blue and yellow too. Okay, okay. Uh, gotta heal these guys. Put the med kits in. Their inventory. And even red is gonna do this too. We want everyone on tip top shapes. Oh, and red also has a neural pistol. Brain should be using his brain gasm gun. Okay, let's switch all these guys to their med packs. Item use. And item use. Boom. All right. Oh man, the, the blue guy is taking a heating, uh, a beating. Item use. Boom. Man, they just keep attacking him. Okay, hold on. We need to uh, initiate all our orders again. Fire on this guy, fire on this guy, fire on this guy, fire on this guy with that. And fire on this guy. There we go. Initiate the orders. Fire! This is, I, I will admit that my tactics are kind of lazy, but whatever, they're working, man. Hey, why, why is that not locked on? Oh man, the purple guy is like close to death. Reload. Fire! Why am I doing like zero damage to him? I don't understand that. Oh god. Uh, sorry. Blah! The real time nature of the combat actually makes this game very difficult. Item use. Ah, there we go. We finally killed him. Alright. Oh god, do not quit. Party regroup. Wow, that was like the fight of our lives. Oh my god, there's more guys! 
Do we need this? Take the passcode. Take the ruby necklace. Uh, is there anything else worth taking? Item take. We don't want that. Uh, oh god. Item take. We don't want that either. Okay, whatever. We, we, got the, we got the passcode that we needed. We don't need to kill these guys. Flee! Run away! We did it! Success! Alright guys, we are... That one, that one confrontation was a third of the story mission. Now our gallant heroes rush back to the star park to head for... Oh uh, shoot, what was the name of that planet? Neok? Ninanik? Oh uh, crap. Okay, I'm at the starport. There's literally some guy standing there. Thank you! He was like blocking the entrance. I could not get in here. Um, alright, what the hell was that planet called? I feel like I'll know the name when I see it, but I wish- I wish the system- I wish the game like marked it for you so you kinda knew. Wait. Neera! Oh, that's it! Oh, it's in the it's in the system that we're in. Okay, that makes life a lot easier. All right, we are off to Neara, or whatever, whatever that planet was called. Near, something like that. It's over here, nothing. Oh, uh, where is this thing? Ah, Neara Space Dock. Land. All right, uh, oh, another ice planet. Pretty cool. Um, all right, let's find the doctor or whomever we're looking for. Illegal weapons confiscated. God damn it. Oh, look, what weapons are they confiscating? Because my guys are still fully packing. Oh, my God. Okay, it starts right away, does it? Party breakup. Let's end these fools. All right, issued the orders. Now we just need to actually carry them out. Oh, man, my, uh... My main guy is actually getting quite quite hurt. Um, item use, my secondary item. It'd be nice if once you I issued the orders, the computer just sort of carried out the battle in a speedy way. It's much faster to sort of take control of your party though. And like man have one guy manually firing really fast. Like just find your best guy. Oh my God, look at all these guys. So many guys to slaughter. Okay. Who wants it first? I guess we'll go like that. Two, we'll fire on that. Three, we'll fire on that. Four, we'll fire on... We're gonna focus fire guys down one at a time. And we're gonna make our way... Oh, the door is locked. All right, whatever. Let's just do this. How much trouble can these guys be, really? Good thing we bought so much ammo, too, I should say. Oh my god, uh, guy 5 is about to die. Item use. Secondary. Item use. Secondary. I gotta keep all my guys on tip-top shape. Don't want anyone dying needlessly here. Oh, we killed a guy. Okay, orders. On to the next! Just gonna stand here and shoot you, and if you die, it's your own fault. Item... Item use... I don't know what happens when you run out of... Fuel. Or not fuel, but medical packs. Because my guy... It hasn't happened yet. I bought two med packs for each guy. The fact that they haven't used through one is actually a good sign, because it means that... Once the first one runs out, I'll make sure to buy another one, because... These med packs are quite important. Die! Die! Oh, sweet, we did it. Uh, okay, here, I'm gonna try and initiate the combat on this guy without pausing it. So, I have only issued orders to three of my guys. Two guys have been standing around for several rounds of combat doing nothing. And there we go. Now, you can kind of see, like, how, how slow it is to actually equip... Uh, weapons when you're, um, you know, not really, when you can't pause the game. Anyway, item. Take. Machine gun. I do not care about that. Item. Take. Auto rifle. I do not care about that. What is this? Item. Take. Carbine laser rifle. 
Item take. Item take. Dust spice. Item take. Nothing nearby. Don't these guys have like pass cards or something of interest? The reflect. Okay. Item take. Nothing nearby. Door is locked. Oh, wait. Can I use my pass key code? Uh, okay. Equip the pass card. Pass card used. Hey, we got into the room. Sweet. Pass card used. Pass card used. We're just bursting through the base. Hey, there's a guy here. Let's kill him. You must not thwart Kiefer's plans. You must die. Party, break the group. All right, everyone. Open fire on that dude. Oh, man, we just wrecked him. I think I might hit my own guy <laughs> for four damage. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Uh, it orders. Uh, item use. Shoot. Get my medical thing equipped. Uh, item use. Medical. Item use. Medical. Okay. Uh, equip. Attack. It'd be nice if there was like an auto attack feature. Oh my god. Item. Uh. Okay, so the yellow guy took so much damage that he doesn't seem to be able to like heal himself anymore, which is concerning. God, item door is locked. Um, is there a way to heal him? Okay, let's try this. Fire your item at him. Use. I used it on myself. <laughs> Damn it. No, yellow guy. So I do not know how to heal guys when, uh, I know how to, I know for how to have guys heal themselves, but when they get below that white line, I think they kind of go unconscious. Uh, item take. The gold statue. I don't care about that. I'm just going to run from these battles at the moment because I don't know what I'm looking for, but I don't want to just get in a bunch of like random fights. Item take. Nothing nearby. What is in this base that we're here for? Ah! Oh, wait, look at this. Stairs down. That must be the way to go. The door is locked. All right, maybe we do have to kill this guy. Here's my tactics. Orders. Uh, the yellow guy is now in cover. Blue guy will also stay in cover. The red guy, he's going to go out here, and he will fire on this guy. Out oh, with his gun, he will fire on that guy. Orange guy will fire on that guy. And purple guy will fire on that guy. Orders complete. Do it, people. Well, oh, 21 damage. Oh, what the what the hell happens? My neural pistol guy almost killed himself. Um, item use. Heal. All right, neural pistol guy, you've healed yourself. Reload. Kill that guy. Somebody kill this punk. It's kind of interesting how, like, you can't scroll the screen once you've unlocked your combat. So it's like we're kind of fighting in this, like, narrow corridor, but there's a whole room. There's a whole room. I just Our characters are deciding, like, not to fight there. All right, party, regroup. All right. We have a key. Perfect. Item take. The light assault gun. Why not? Item take. Nothing nearby. All right. Oh, the door is locked. Uh, having to equip the, uh, the pass card and keys, it's all rather tedious. Uh, where's the key? Equip the key. Boom. All right, we're making progress, guys. We are one man short. The, the yellow guy is just dying. I, I have no idea how to help him. I think he's just going to bleed out, as far as I understand. Like, he's unconscious. He's just going to bleed out. Party break orders. Orders one. So the yellow guy, he's just gonna die. There's not much we can do about that. This guy's gonna come out here and go fire onto that guy. Uh, orange guy's gonna come out, fire onto that guy. Red guy, 
All right, we gotta wait. That guy will fire onto him too. Boom, boom, boom. Oh man, he's just getting barraged by neural bolts to the face. See, eventually I do zero damage, so I don't know what's up with that. But my other guys killed him. Party, regroup. All right, inventory, nothing to take nearby. We're working our way through this base. I'm feeling good about this. There's another dude there. I kind of wonder if it's worthwhile to just like run around him. Oh, look at this. Nice day, isn't it? How do I know you are telling the truth and you are who you say you are? Leonara didn't mention anyone else, but thinking back, she did give me half an imperial seal. She said that I should not trust anyone who spoke of this matter unless I had the other half. Um, okay, well... Lucky for you, I have that. Can we talk to this guy now? Who is this guy anyway? Um, he is like some guy hanging out in the bottom of base where everyone wants to kill me. And he wants to see this seal. All right, dude. How do I know who you're telling the truth? Uh, items, use the secondary. You can't use that. I have the seal, don't I? Isn't that isn't that what I just gave to him? Oh, that's not that's not the uh, main guy. I want to switch those two. All right, uh, talk to this guy. My gold guy just died, by the way. Um, what the hell's going on? Ah, there we go. Brains hands over the broken imperial seal. I had to equip it in my first weapon slot. This game, man, just detected I got the freaking item. I sent my decoding key uh, to a trusted friend who is a clerk at the seafarer's home on Eurase. Take this complete imperial seal to her. When she sees it, she will know who you are and will give you my decoding key. When you have my decoding key in your possession, make haste to Akarates, where Linara will be waiting for you. All right, we got one more run to do. Um, this video has turned out to be a longer video than I had planned for today, so you know what? We're going to have one more video in our Mega Traveler 1 series. This game turned into a turn turned from a game that I thought I could play for you guys in an hour to one that is like now pushing for. But whatever. I've been having fun with uh, Mega Traveler. It's an interesting game and I don't want to like rush it or create a mega long video for you for Mega Traveler. So, if you want to see the exciting conclusion of uh of this game, You'll have to uh, tune back in next time. I'm just going to try and like pick up all the stuff we can from uh, the guy who died. The battle dress, the helmet, the ruby. You know what? Forget everything else. Let's just get the hell out of here before these guys kill us. I don't know why, by the way, that one guy helped us, but all his friends wanted to kill us. But let's get the hell out of here before they finish the job. Um, oh, man. And... Uh, my guys, like, need to be healed and stuff. Orange guy is about to die. If you want to see the exciting conclusion uh, to this story, be sure to come back next week. Um, but until then, if you've been enjoying the, the playthrough, if you've been enjoying the series, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff, and I will be back soon. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. All right, guys. Peace. Kill this punk. Rapid fire. It's not super impressive.